now that I'm recording here. So this is a Naya mid-range-esque deck. Um, the only thing at a glance that I'd be kind of concerned with is, I think it's weird to not have four Path to Exiles in the 75. I think this is easily the best removal spell in Modern right now. But we'll see. We'll see how much that comes up. Just like good, good, honest creatures, reasonable removal. It's one of those decks that's probably going to struggle with the unfair decks in Tron and probably going to be pretty reasonable against decks that care about voice of resurgence. But League takes two hours instead of one hour to play. Does that pseudo meant your hour per wage? Eh, kind of. Because, like, the amount that I make from a deck being paid to be played isn't the only income I generate. Like, there's people... There's a, there's a lot that goes into it. And the, the average League takes about 90 minutes. So, there's Leagues that are less than 90 minutes. There's Leagues that are more. So, it averages out to about 90 Definitely just want lands, right? It tries to pair you against people of the same record to start, but it gives up on doing that very, very quickly. Yeah, we got a link to the Core Tapper deck from the, from the Grand Prix. It is linked in the donation document. So... That something that you have to do when you're playing against humans a lot of the time with a deck that has spot removal is you need to decide, are you interested in killing their first play? Or are you interested in saving your, your few removal spells for killing their cards that are actually killing you? And I think the way our hand this game or this deck in general is set up, we generally want to kill humans' payoffs because we can just, we can race them if we're killing their payoffs. We don't, we don't have enough removal to kill everything. Yeah, that's, that's true too, Jin. That's actually a really good way to look at it. The queue is always full. It doesn't really matter. So here, I actually got kind of punished for my sequencing. I elected to not shock this in. So now I'm not going to be able to bolt plus Knight of the Reliquary this turn. I think Baleful Strix would actually be a really good addition to Modern. I think it's a it's a honest creature that would pretty much only go in decks that are kind of fair in mid rangey. Yeah, it, it's very possible I should have shocked there. Update stream decker. Yeah, it's a good suggestion. And I I appreciate the reminders to update the stream decker. It's probably going to be something I forget to do a lot, especially as as we get deeper deeper in today. We're taking six here. This Baneslayer Angel could either be a game-winning play or a, a huge tempo loss when they when they reflect your mage us. So actually, if they attack here with this champion of the parish, I think I'm gonna take this trade. Just because um then this bolt kills this, and then we're pretty much at parity, and we get to scavenging use, gobble things up. going on jet i think we're going to be doing longer than 12 hours today i might i might have made a promise i shouldn't have made but we're going to do my best to stick to it so i get to do this i get to go ahead and attack with this you're going to gobble up champion of the parish here really okay they must just have another Thalia, right? That's what this means. Why not fetch Forest and grow the Scavenging Ooze? Um, I don't think that efficiency really matters at the moment. Maybe it does. Nice, Bojo. How do I manage to keep engaged? Uh, you know, the, the sitting up and standing down actually helps a lot. Like, standing consistently helps me keep my energy higher because I get kind of bobby and bouncy. I also had, I might have had a large soda with my lunch. So, that yeah, definitely. Staying, staying fed is a great way to keep your energy up. The, the way I notice, um, I notice I drag the most is when I'm hungry. 
which I actually, I got, I don't normally get chips from Jimmy John's, but I got chips with my meal because I know I'm actually starting to get a little bit hungry now and I probably won't eat dinner for another hour and a half, two hours. We'll eat a snack in the middle. Preferred carbonated beverage. I like uh, just regular classic Coca-Cola or um, I actually really like cherry Coke Zero. Yeah, if I, if I eat too much, I get a post-lunch slump, which is why, like, if I got chips like I did, I didn't eat the chips with my sandwich. I'm actually in a pretty good spot here. I drink four to five coffees and one to two diets, so that's a ton. I generally don't do caffeine at all. Yeah, we are coffees for closers, and we are definitely getting into that range at this point. I say if they didn't if they didn't jump block here, I was gonna make this a six six. Dramokus man's a sweet draw here. Makes our things bigger and gobbles theirs up. Meddling mage. Sure. Restoration Angel. Sweet. No ghost Arena. I was gonna say if they if they name Dromoka's command, this is like 10 out of 10 Ghost Arena territory. And this is again like when people ask me why I play the friendly leagues, the the people that play these leagues are more likely to want to just play magic than they are to want to just like gain every edge possible to win. Like they're not they're not looking to like ghost looking at like actually practice and play magic. All right, so this is this is lethal, right? Because of this attack, it's just like drum come, put a counter here. You fight here. Gobble gobble. Scooge was a hungry boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Scoozy. Take a whiskey drink and a chocolate drink. Um, huh. This is this is kind of awkward. Uh, we really don't we really don't have cards in our sideboard for this matchup, huh? I guess Mind Sensor comes out and like Bonfire comes in. Blessed Alliance is like okay, but we don't really have a lot of great cards to to have happen here. Arlen Court's probably a little bit too slow. I think this is good enough because it's basically just like a piece of spot removal. And Quasily Pride Mage probably a little slow. Let's do, let's do this. I drink so much caffeine that it no longer affects my energy level and just balances me. That's, yep. Oh, there's a Hushwing in the board, is there? Yeah, yeah, that definitely should have came in. I missed that one. That one's on me. Hushwing, Hushwing, 10 out of 10 should come in. Yeah, Hushwing, Hushwing's Torquor Bird for people that aren't familiar. It causes creatures entering the battlefield not to trigger abilities. So card is like, okay. Like it's a hard sell on bringing in a five mana creature against the aggressive deck is basically what it comes down to. Helix is a great pickup here. This deck does have a lot of sweet spells today. I'm going to mute myself off and on while I play here so I can eat, have a snack. So, do I shock and path here, or do I 
untap and lightning helix. I think I want to shock and path. Or, sorry, I think I want to untap and helix. I think I don't want to put them ahead on mana this early. And also, there isn't a huge incentive for me to put Voice of Resurgence into play ASAP. Because there's a non-zero chance that my opponent just like untaps and reflector mages me. And then I really haven't generated any tempo. And I've put them super far ahead with the path to exile. There's, is there ever really a rush to put voice into play? Spitting the truth. Yeah, yeah, we are going to curve right out into the angel, which if they don't have reflector mage for the angel, she's like a GG button all on her own. Even if they have image, we have a lot of spot removal here. Having to cycle the canopy right away bodes really well for us. Their hand must not have anything going on. Hopefully we hit like a three or a four drop here so we just get to keep curving out. Oh, that's a land. I think I just attack, right? If they put like a Thali into play, I'm just bolting it. This is on one. Any green creature-based decks in the queue that I find particularly sweet? That's a good one. Uh, there's Teamer Kiki in there, which is reasonable. I think, I think Teamer Kiki is the only, only green creature deck in there right now. If you'd like to use your... Your tier three sub to add a new deck to the queue alcohol. I think the Devoted Company deck is a really sweet one that we've only played a couple of times in the past that I wouldn't mind running back. That's true. JAC is technically a green creature deck. Things that are technically correct. Yeah, but I don't really consider like the Todd Stevens deck a green creature deck. When I, when I hear green creature deck, I guess it's a voice of resurgence deck. I don't know. But mid, it's been, but mid range is a great way to put it. How sad are they going to be that they copied voice of resurgence twice here and I'm about to slam this Bane Slayer Angel? There is an elves deck in the queue, actually. We played elves on stream a bunch before. Geoquake with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you and welcome. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. Thanks for supporting mine this month. Thanks, Geoquake. I try to, at least. I'm human and I fail a good deal, but... All we can do is try, right? Okay, and we don't even really care about this, right? Like, this Baneslayer Angel is going to be in a great position to take over the game now? I'm able to stand on 2x speed. I feel, I feel you, I feel you.
Wyken Blyken, thank you for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed this month. All right, swing and a miss. And the redraw. Looking to dodge images and reflector mages here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down. Bane Slayer Angel is more than good. It's great. Draw Kite Sail Freebooter. Did y'all know? Do you know what the hidden mode is on Blessed Alliance? We played Serum Powder Eldrazi recently. Not in recent memory. We have played it in the past on stream, but not, not in recent memory. We're about to full bow to Blessed Alliance. That is correct. Itty bitty bugle boy, company B. Do 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 Oh no! And this attack, like, isn't even that suspicious. Like, we could just, like, have a piece of spot removal and think we can race, right? Yeah, we should be good no matter what this meddling mage names. They could name Path to Exile. Path to Exile is, like, kind of medium for us, but, like, still okay. And Path to Exile seems like a reasonable name here because uh, we've already played Lightning Bolt, right? I gain four, untap you, untap you, you sacrifice a creature. At ice, thank you for the three month three sub there. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. If they have. Thalia's Lieutenant, I could be a little bit sad with this block, but if they don't have Thalia's Lieutenant, the game is over. Looking for spells. Non-path to exile spells, I suppose. It's a land, that's fine. I think, I think we're just like winning this race, such like heads up on board, right? Three is a lot of Blessed Alliances. Is there a lot of uh, Grixis Shadow where you play? Yep. These are, these are pretty good hits. We've, uh, we've been flooding and their hits have been good. Yep. Oh, there is one copy of Bonfire of the Damned in our deck right now. There is a... Singleton copy of Bonfire of the Damned in our deck right at the moment. Bye. Bye, Jake. Bye. Have fun with mom. Uh, not dead on board. Have one more draw to my bonfire. Your dream is actually a great way to learn magic mechanics and catch up. I used to hold pro points before becoming busy 
as a finance guy, this way I get to enjoy magic despite not having the time to play it. Well, welcome, Cells. Thanks for the compliment. Glad you enjoy the stuff. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So definitely throwing this Nactyl away in front of an Elemental. And then just like hoping to rip the nuts here. Yeah, the voice, I mean, the voice tokens like really didn't matter, right? Like if I, is this, is this Thalia's Lieutenant kill me? We are, I'm not sure. Well, thanks for dropping in to offer the support, Blake, and I really appreciate that. So a little bit, little bit of flood and die at the end there. Um, I'm going to trim this other pride mage and run it back. Bring in the Hushwing Griff. Yep. Someone said we might cut Huntmaster, but I don't think that's true. I think Huntmaster is very good in this matchup. If we have a little bit of control over flipping, if it flips once or twice, we'll be in a good spot. This scene seems great. I'm going to fetch a uh, stomping ground on one because that way we can play our second kit or lightning bolt on two. Actually, I'm going to fetch temple garden on one here. So that way I can fetch basic mountain with this and go cat plus bolt on two. Arlen Court, this, this whole deck is just like, this deck is basically Naya fun ofs, right? Like you look at you look at the list of cards it's playing. But Bonfire worked well in Blue Moon. Maybe. That's an interesting idea. But I say this deck is competitive. Maybe. The actual answer to that question is uh, I don't know. Noble Hierarch's a great draw here. We get to fetch Stomping Ground. And then if we rip an untapped land next turn, we get to go ahead and play Huntmaster on three on the play. In addition to having two Nactyls out. It's really, really pretty strong opener here. And, like, even if we brick off, we get to play Smiter on two and just, like, have 10 power in play. N Naya Pile, Naya Trade Binder, whatever you want to call it. It's just like, well, these are these are the Naya cards I know and love. They are my, they are my family. I love them and they love me. <clears throat> Lightning Bolt, yep. Here's our Bean Slayer. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and pressure here. I'm just gonna crack them for six and then play the Smiter. It's a real shame we didn't draw. Oh, I guess I can't cast Lightning Bolt anyways. I say it's a shame we didn't draw a Lamp. That's actually not an option because they metally maged it. No, they, 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 they didn't meddle the perfect card last time. They're just, like, naming cards that they care about. They're naming cards that are, like, likely removal spells that we've played. They've prioritized naming Lightning Bolt first every time when we haven't cast one, which is just, like, good, clean magic. And, like, the time they named Path to Exile was because I had already played... Holy gosh. Oh, don't have... Don't... Don't have... Don't have a lieutenant. Don't have a lieutenant. Don't have a lieutenant. Dang it. All right, I'm just going to smash for 10 here. They're obligated to block at least one of these things. This has two damage marked on it, so it still trades with my cats.
So you're saying, so you're saying there's a chance. That's all I need is a chance, chat. All I need is a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. So Kent unfortunately lives across the country. Man, that sucks for us. All right, untapped land, come on. Poppy needs a land. Poppy needs a land. Good news is they're not attacking with this one. Helix, Helix is also, yeah, Helix and Path are both lethal too. So you have a ton, ton of lethal draws here, right? Wow, that's, okay. Say so this attack is super aggressive. Oh, Magic the Gathering, you such a low variance game. Is there anything that says Jeff Hoagland more than hoping to draw land and drawing an uncastable four drop? I, I really don't think there is. Aren't we all on the human side here, chat? Don't all of us just want to love and be loved as human beings? Come on, come on! <laughs> Why? Why you have to be so mad? It's only game. Why you have to be so mad? They named Blessed Alliance, okay? So you, you can't attack with that one. All right, Bolt and, uh, or Path. Path is still a live draw here. We're dead. Path and Helix with the live draws. Feels, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Flood, screw into flood. That's uh, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. How are we doing out there, folks? Welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. We're hanging out, having a nice long celebration stream, celebrating hitting 2,000 sub points here on Twitch. Very grateful to everybody out there that helps me do this day in and day out as my job. I wouldn't be here without their wonderful support. Uh, past subscribing to my channel, you can support my content by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. BCW would love to help you protect your gaming products. They do uh, sleeves, uh, binders, deck boxes, all sorts of great stuff there at great prices. And you can save 10% uh, on your orders at BCW Supplies using code Jeff10 at checkout. 
Honey would love to save you some money. If you install Honey using link bit.ly forward slash Google Honey, you'll be supporting my content here at absolutely no cost to yourself. What Honey does is when you're shopping online, it takes a look at the stuff you've thrown in your shopping cart and then searches automatically for some coupon codes to try and save you money on things you're going to be buying anyways. Lisa would like to get you on your way to a better night's sleep. Christy and I have been sleep with Lisa for the last uh, two months now, and we really love it. I don't think we'd ever go back to a traditional pillow top mattress. You can save $160 or more on your new mattress with Lisa by checking out links bit.ly forward slash Hugglebed US and bit.ly forward slash Hugglebed CA. Fweasel13, got to get you live before FNM. Thank you for re-upping at the tier two level. I really appreciate that. Be sure to drop me a message in private letting me know which deck you'd like to bump in the queue this month for your tier two sub. We're on the draw, right? I'm going to keep this on the draw. Ding. <laughs> that's that's awkward. It lets us cast this, but the rest of our hand is red. rest of our hand is red. Uh, I'm going to be going for like 12 more hours, another MTG player. We've, we've, set, we've set the hard limit of I'm playing until Amulet Titan gets played or until MTG Traders closes down at, I believe it's 3 a.m. Eastern, they stop delivering orders for the night for a few hours. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be my cut. I'm either, I'm either going till when MTG Traders stops, stops filling deliveries or, or when we hit Amulet Titan. So, as someone who's come to, come to be a realist, I'm probably going until MTGO Traders stops filling orders. <laughs> oh. I did this to myself. The Valakut matchup is probably close to unwinnable for a deck like this, I'd have to imagine. We don't really have Yeah, in fact, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play extra matches and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pack this one in. This deck this deck doesn't have a super fast clock and it has actual zero meaningful interaction. Like, Godok Teague is, like, half interaction, and Sahili is, Sahali is, like, half interaction, but we don't have ways to find those cards. So rather than sit here and just get dumpstered, I'm going to try and find a deck that can give us a more competitive match of magic. So all the ones that are in the queue that say today after, those are not going to get played today, Drew. Those will, those will get filed back into the queue under Modern. It'll be filled in at later days when they're at the top. How do you know? We have how how many peak cards do we have that Valakut cares about? Half, half, one, half. So we have like two and a half cards that they care about, kind of. Like two and a half cards. Almost. Voice of Resurgence is great against Falica decks. Look at the adorable tutu! It's got a text box that we get to ignore. Yeah, that's uh, that's the wrong Sigarda. It's a deer. Fun fact, Burgle. Did you know this card was originally legendary during R&D? Valakut, generally speaking, doesn't really care about Ghost Quarter Jackal Girl, not Red Green Valakut at least. Um, this card was originally legendary. It was templated to be Tristani originally. And then they ended up switching it at some point during development to the four mana card that Tristani ended up being. Yeah, voice, voice and Tristani were switched at the last minute. It's actually why you could you see uh see it sounds great, sign me up. Stomping ground noble goat. Did you miss Geoff? I don't know that Geoff's gonna be making an appearance today. You gotta, gotta keep energy up on my own. I might have, I might have fumbled into, into a 16 hour stream instead of 12. I would like to thank everybody for hanging out here in addition to, or instead of the Grand Prix. I wasn't quite sure how our numbers were going to be with the three day Grand Prix going on this week. And we've had, 
seven eight hundred people most of the afternoon will matt make an appearance today maybe he said he gets off work at six and he might drop by now that we're going super late i can probably talk him to come in i don't think i'm going to get to be involved for the overwatch tonight brecken we had we had so many we had so many people add things to cut in that i don't think i can make it Some kind of control deck? Yeah, it's weird. This is this is the second Legacy Grand Prix this year, right? Is it is it pre weren't previously Legacy Grand Prix only once per year in the United States? Because we had we had a Seattle Legacy Grand Prix this year too, right? Yeah, it could be something, could be something gift space here. Um, okay. Um, how about that? All right, I want to bring in this choke. I'm going to trim these. Oh, the Jabokus Command's probably pretty bad. Do I want Thunder Daddy? I probably want Thunder Daddy. Let's just, I'm going to leave the paths in my deck because they could be an Obzadat slash Elish Norn deck. Voice into choke. Nice islands, dick. No, I brought in the choke because they played polluted delta. Will Klutz make an appearance today? I have a bind. Poke, poke Andrew on, on Discord, Justin, and tell everybody, if you want Matt or Mike to drop make appearances, you should go poke them on Discord if you're a sub. We did not see an actual island, so I've brought in the choke based on the premise that they're going to have islands in their deck. Towards Naya Token Burn, congrats on the milestone. Thanks for the support, Bionic. You and folks like you are why, I, why I'm here as often as I am. Yeah, it, look, it looks like some kind of four-color control deck. Our curve here is going to be real good, just like Voice into Choke into Smiter. Or Voice into Choke into Huntmaster, potentially, depending on what they have going on. This could be the four-color guy stick we've been playing. Which Matt am I referring to? My buddy Matt Pamonte, who dropped in for a good portion of the 24-hour stream. Hippie Pancake with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Welcome. No, I, I live in the United States, Fervente. I've never interacted with that player, really. Resolves. Resolves. Nice, hippie. Congrats. Allow me to sing you the song of my people, opponent. 
My voice is resurging, you could say. Uh, at Andrew and at Matt Baymonte. Are there Discord names? I want to cast the choke while I have voice out, just in case they have a counter spell. Yeah, crackle my doom. Colligan's command. Oh. Oh, opponent. This is. Is this a concession smiter? I bet I'd bet money this is a concession smiter. Cause this saves my this saves my elemental from dying. Oh yeah. Do the dirty. Do the dirty, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Mmm. Mmm. Allow me to sing you the song of my people. Remember, chat, Colligan's command doesn't kill creatures. State-based actions kill creatures. Please stop killing him! He's dead! Mercy! <laughs> it's pretty good, Mojo. It's pretty good. As far as, uh, as far as blowouts go, that one is probably towards the top of my list. It's like, save my thing, getcha. Hey, Racky54, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. Welcome, welcome, I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good, good start to your weekend wherever you're at. Peace, Mojo, thank you. This might be the worst deal of the history of deals. They're passing back to us here, which I think probably makes this, I guess, no, they can't even Cryptic Command us, right? They don't have triple blue. They have like Mana Morphos into Cryptic Command us. Settle the wreckage. Even, even Settle is like not that big of a deal here. I guess to play around Settle, I probably want to leave the Voice of Resurgence back. Settle's a good potential read. So these are these are sixes now. Why not choke pre-combat to punish a settle? That's a good question. I guess I didn't really need. Well, I want to beat a single piece of spot removal. So I think I think I ship with Smiter in both tokens, so that way they can't just like play one piece of spot spot removal. Because like this this way they're dead to, they're dead if they just have like just path or just fatal push or something like that. And if they settle me, I like get a land and I get an elemental token back. Because the voice of resurgence is still in play. Wow, this is all right. I mean, they're they're gonna take an elemental off the table, but they're replacing it with two. The the song of my people has been strong this game, chat. The strong the song of my people has been has been with us. So we're like hoping to dodge the sweeper. This is a concession Jace then. Weird, concession Jace usually has a different name. All right, strong, strong. This is this is the key to playing these creature decks. You have to you have to be skillful enough to cue into people who care about voice of resurgence. If if your opponent has a deck that cares about the text box of Voice of Resurgence. Usually decks like this are pretty reasonable, but there, there are a lot of decks in Modern that just like couldn't give, give two cares about Voice of Resurgence's text box, unfortunately. 
They're like, oh, two mana, two, two. That's totes and orbs. I was watching one of the Blue Red Tempo videos on YouTube and you talked about maybe Scours and Ops and Lava Mancers would go to four Lava Boys first, be better. I don't think so, Hawkage. I really like the aggressive pressure that um, that Soul Scar Mage adds. I don't know that I don't know that four Soul Scar Mages is correct, but I think I think I want at least two of them. Maybe maybe they're just like better than Bendiclick. The four X build might be too many. I I'm I'm trying, Drew. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Look at us, green, white, honest cards. Do my best value town impersonation. Please be a deck that cares about Voice of Resurgence. Please be a deck that cares about Voice of Resurgence. Please be a deck that cares about Voice of Resurgence. <laughs> Don't do it to me. Don't do it. Have a heart. Don't kill my bird. Play a goblin guide. Play a goblin guide. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I have I have Path to Exile at least. I like I'm missing a land drop, but like I kind of get to pay a mana for a land drop. Man. I mean, how, how will they ever beat the power of not one, but potentially two copies of Voice of Resurgence next turn? Could you, could you even, could you even imagine how they could possibly, how they could possibly contain the strength of a play like that? Searing Blazer Dork, Bolter Other Dork, good luck, idiot. <laughs> please, please, mercy! Mercy. Rift Bolt, they shocked. Do we have uh do we have an idol on? Do do we have an idol on? Do 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 well, I'm hoping they don't have a Searing Blaze. I feel like they would have snapped a Searing Blaze, right? Are you bolting both my dorks? Why did they shock? Why? Why shock, opponent? But, but why? So, this Knight of the Reliquary dies to a Lightning Bolt here, but I think I'm kind of in for my Lightning Bolt reading game three, right? They shocked to get in my head, right? Like if if Knight trades for Rift Bolt here, I think I think that's a win. Okay. It's an aggressive skull crack. Land! Land! Loxodine Smiter. Let me tell you about creatures that got large booties. This is a large bootied elephant right here. He's got he's got a big strong hammer. This is like this is like the Reinhardt of the Green White deck here. He puts a shield up and he comes in and cracks your head. Mm, 
Are we dead? Are we dead? Reinhardt. It's a, it's a defensive character in Overwatch. Quasly can kill the idol on here, but I, I honestly feel like we're kind of in an okay spot, right? Like, we're not that far off of locking them under their own Eidolon. You gotta go in deep. They have, they have another one? Well, now they need to cast two spells to kill us. The only thing we lose to here is land Searing Blaze. The opponent, opponent ended up sequencing their, their spells and their block in a little bit of a strange order here. Ended up getting locked out under their own Eidolon, basically. They might need to attack in with this just to get it off the table so they could start playing spells. Actually, that's not true. They could, if they have two spells that kill us here, they attack, we're forced to block, and then they go bolt, bolt. Honestly, maybe I should have left the Birds of Paradise back. I have two Blessed Alliance to bring in here. Uh, Sahali is fine. Bane Slayer is obviously reasonable at the top of the curve. Arlen slow. Mind Sensor slow. Pride Mage is a little bit meh. I don't think I want any of these other ones up here. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Thalia's pretty okay. She chokes their mana a little bit. We need boil on the board for when you for when you really hate the islands. Do -do 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 -do. Pride mage or grudge for potential ensnaring bridges. That's not a bad suggestion, actually. Yeah, yeah, actually, I like that suggestion. Hedge hedge a possible bridge by leaving quasi pride mages in just because it has a low cost. I'm gonna mulligan this. I have a lot of high impact hands, a lot of high impact cards. Sounds okay. I'm gonna bottom that. There's like some incentive to leaving a land on top in case they lead on Goblin Guide, but I think I'd rather just like have better chances to find more spells this game. No play on one. Well, that is absurd for us. Sweet. And even if they kill Noble Hierarch now, we get to go fetch Basic Plane's voice on two. So we're gonna get to curve out regardless. We played the Espergorias. The Espergorias list uh, ended up getting... <laughs> we had a whole bunch of people cut stuff today. Obzi Wobzi, is that one still just hanging out in the queue? Yeah, I think you're right. If they, have a if they have access to bridge, I think it definitely comes in here. Not all burn decks play bridge these days, though, but it, it is becoming more and more common. One of the ways they can steal matches in games like this that can be a little bit hard for them. I feel like Treasure Cruise Burn would be as bad as like the Bedlam Burn that we tried. Like we tried Bedlam Burn and it was it was really not good. Rude. Alright, so. We have to take this Grim Lava Mancer off the table. That is, that is not optional. 
So counter here, you fight you. What the heck is that early harvest deck? Yeah, that one's probably gonna happen on Monday. No, it was not five brain. The people, people who talk about treasure crews in modern, I feel like the people who talk about treasure crews being absurd in modern, I feel like they played a different format than I did. I, I played a ton of modern when treasure cruise was legal and the, the people who tell stories about it going into everything are, are over exaggerating for the sake of being magic players that can over exaggerate. This does kind of give them a window to kill us, but I really just want to get pressure into play here. Rory the Rogue, thank you for the nine month resub there. It's a three quarters of a year and welcome back. So Blue Red Delver was powerful, but a big part of what made that deck good is it was a Xerox deck. It played tons of cantrips. Their timing on their skull cracks is weird. Bridge walkers. I don't know what bridge walkers. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I think twins a fine unban. So they're gonna end up at thirteen, and we're gonna end up at seven here, and they have one card left. No, I think I think I want to just like get the blessed alliance in. Being being at seven while they have two cards in hand means I'm pretty close to dead. Yeah, Scrooge was also a lot better on the back of Gitaxian Probe. Which is just like another like crazily offensive design mistake that just shouldn't exist. Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Am I dead? Am I dead? And we're not. Maybe, Mark. Um, I'm not a fan of the mono red prison deck, but with black cards, it might be better. Maybe black solves some of the problems that the mono red has. Feel, feel free to submit it through the forum and I'll give you a response in a few days. If we, with tonight's stream going for a long time, we're probably, I probably am not going to respond to deck submissions until Sunday or Monday at this point. What do I think about Stoneforge versus Deathrite on a power level? I think they're probably pretty close in power level, but I dislike what Deathrite Shaman does in the format because it goes into so many more decks. Like, people like to be kind of obnoxious and, and like, imply that Stoneforge Mystic would get splashed into literally everything. But Deathrite Shaman really does do that just because of the number of different colors that can cast it. Do you still say people playing Hollowed Fountain just want to lose? I mean, they're not trying to win. I don't know about trying to lose. I think, I think a well-built blue-white control deck is competitive, but I also think people play a lot of really poorly built blue-white control decks. Uh, honestly, Justin, I think in, I think Thoughtseize and Inquisition in Modern are a lot like Force of Will in Legacy. Inquisition and Thoughtseize in Modern are really obnoxious cards that are probably too powerful, but the things that they stand to check are arguably more obnoxious than they are. So in order to reasonably ban those discard spells from this format, you would have to change a lot of the format because the things they're checking need to be checked by something. And and I think honestly at this point, just like we had to have modern be created to get to, to get away from Force of Will reasonably, I think the best way to like have a non-rotating format without Thought Season Inquisition dominating them is to just like have a new non-rotating format. <sighs> this matchup might be hard for us.
Did I, did I put this? On? Yeah, there we go. I couldn't remember if I had a command for this or not. It's like, I feel like I have a command for this, but I actually don't remember. I wouldn't be surprised this matchup's hard for us. This is one of the places where kind of being cheeky with our removal spells and like not having four path to exiles in our deck is just going to like dumpster us. Can top be legal in a new format? Nope. Sensei's Divining Top is never going to be legal in a new format of Magic ever again. Card is miserable and nobody wants to play against it. Except for you, Justin. You're different. You want to play against it for some reason. Second fetch lands there is really rough. It means my 4-4 can't trade for their 4-4. My, my one mana 3-3, three, three, much worse than their one mana 7-7s. Seven, All right, flying creatures are pretty great here just because they go over the top of them in the most literal sense. Dromcom's pretty bad. Pride Mage is pretty bad. Mind Sensor is pretty bad. Uh, Thalia Heretic Cathar is actually pretty okay in this matchup. I think Helix is probably a little bit too slow, although there's maybe an argument for keeping all my reach. Arlen Corden, this is actually actually pretty bad. So maybe I want these. I guess Dahlia's fine. Divining Top made Nick Fate playable, therefore Nick Divining Top was a fine card. What's the longest timeout? I think the longest timeout Twitch will let you give someone is like two weeks. Is Choke worth it here? Maybe. Maybe Choke is good enough at stealing games. I don't know. I feel like I really just need to play to the board. You really like a mental misstep that's not Phyrexian. Yeah, a mental, a, a non-Phyrexian mental misstep is like a perfectly balanced card. Just like one blue counter target, one mana spell. Thrun could maybe be okay. The fact that like Thrun that gets outclassed by every one of their delve threats makes it really pretty unappealing. The problem, Austin, is that not everybody is those fast miracles players. The problem is that the average player is much, much slower than a fast player. You have to you have to make rules that that dictate or cater to the average rather than the ones that are outside the norm. So probably go basic, forest, noble hierarch, smiter, crack you for five next turn. <laughs> oh, that made my night. Oh, that's that was oh that was God bless you, opponent. God bless you, opponent. Easy clap. Man, there might be something to this locks that on Smiter card chat. Why don't why don't more people play this one? Maybe am I missing something? Uh my opponent thought sees locks that on Smiter. Um, yeah, I'm just going to fetch basic, basic forest here, I think. And just play my bird out. What hour is this? You've been gone for hours. We're currently heading into, we're almost at hour eight. However, I have made a horrible deal that I intend to uphold. I promised 
that I would play through all of the decks that people cut, cut the line with. So we've got at least four more decks today. Five more decks, maybe five more after this. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing longer than twelve hours, to say to say the least. We're gonna be going and and by that I mean we're gonna go either until we run out of decks that have paid to cut the line with the hundred dollar kicker, or when MTGO Trader stops filling orders for the evening. How's it playing so far? Kind of medium. I think this deck's got, got too many cute one ofs. Do they plus the Liliana of the Veil? Wow, no fear. No fear. That is bold. I like it. I could keep donating and make you stay here. They stop filling orders. I think it's, is it 1 a.m.? Is it 1 a.m. Central or 2 a.m. Central? Their delivery hours are till 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. So 2 a.m. Central Standard Time is the last time I can get cards. Um, I think I just have to make them edict. I do get two orders at a time, but you know, eventually, eventually we're gonna out. Also like 16 hours or so is my limit. Once we, once we get past 16, the content gets bad. Obviously, they're just going to edict us here, but like this gives our, our hand a turn off, basically. Looking to draw lands to curve out into this Sigarda. The wildest snack. The little deal. See if they have a Doom Blade here or not. We're going to ditch the Path to Exile if they, if they plus the Liliana here. Just because I really want to get to the Sigarda. She's a great way to let us win the game. I think I think I need to ditch the path. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a moment of loud while the children pass through. What's going on, dude? Did you bring daddy dinner? How I got green water. You got green water? How? How I got more green water. Okay, I have my dinner. Why I got more green water? Thank you, Declan. Daddy, um, I want oh, I want red juice. You want red juice? Mommy's gonna go upstairs and make you red juice, okay? Make me red juice. Can you say please? Please. Yes, okay. Go upstairs with mom and she's gonna make you red juice, okay? Mommy, I have green water upstairs too. All right, they're out of cards here. Um, they have to, they get to like take my cigar out of my hand with the Lily onto the veil, but like Huntmaster's like a real threat, right? If they break on a spell for the turn, this card's gonna close out the game very quickly. Sorry, Jake, Jake, Jake had to jack some of my dinner. He's like, I know there's bread in that bag. Give me the bread. Wow. Okay. That uh, surprises me. Untapped land. We've, uh, we've got some five drops. We got some biggins. Uh, Ghost quarter herself doesn't accomplish anything. Still leaves us with only four mana this turn. Time me out. I've I love that we've developed a community where people accept the punishment they know they deserve. They're just like, no, you're right. I deserve this.
Okay, we've got we've got Panera this time. All right. So, do I want Bane Slayer Angel or Sigarda first? It's probably Sigarda first, right? Do I need Red Red for anything? Yeah, I've got Thunder Daddy in my deck right now. Sigarda's unbeatable. What do you think on deck is stronger in average Tempo Burn or Blue Eye Control? I, I prefer the Tempo Burn deck, Justin. I think decks that are more proactive are generally more favored in Modern. Have a good evening, Jackal Girl. Every deck three twos. Do, 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 do. Ready to party for Labor Day. We're going to be here having a good time. How much for the kids to play a single game of the league? Declan actually really likes playing card games, but he would be confused by Magic Online because you can't drag the cards into play. Now, there's really no reason to swing. All right. Well, we finished out the 3-2. Like I said uh, earlier in the league, with decks like this, if your opponent cares about the text box of Voice of Resurgence, you're generally going to have a good time. And if your opponent doesn't care about the text box of Voice of Resurgence, you're generally going to get beat up a little bit. I think I'd clean up some of the details in this deck. I figured out, I would try and figure out which of these one ofs are actually good in our cards that I want to play. And then I would play more copies of those. I think not playing four path exiles is kind of absurd. Um, I think not having Damping Sphere or something like that in the sideboard to have extra hate against both Storm and Big Mana decks is kind of medium. Yeah, the Bane Slayer for Lyra makes sense, especially because we have like multiple other angels in the deck, right? So yeah, Bane Slayer for Lyra probably makes sense as well. All right, so what do we got? We got plenty of plenty 